Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing something I had low expectations for because it's so tiny. Here it is. It's the Hold Lamp 700 Watt Smoke Machine with Disco Ball Lights, 9 LED Colorful Light Effects, doo -doo 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 -doo. Light Ball, Disco Ball, 3500 CFM, huge fog with a wireless remote. Uh, the huge fog part uh, kind of took me off guard, and the lights, the level of lights and the level of fog took me way off guard. Now it's got a tiny bin. I'd say the container itself is like this big by like that big. So it's very tiny. I ran it for like 10 minutes testing it out. And we're probably a third of the way out. So I'd imagine you have 30 or 40 minutes of continuous use. Whew, that stuff. And I, I use some pretty good um, fog juice. It's, it's dense and it's low lying for um, Halloween is my main purpose. And my main purpose for wanting to review this unit was for Halloween because I knew you could take the disco ball light out of the equation and just mess with these lights. You do get a strobe light effect, which is really cool for Halloween. A red light, a green, a blue, stuff like that to, you know, you could set a definite tone with your decorations and whatnot. And that's kind of what I was shooting for. But it also revealed itself to be kind of a multi-purpose unit not just for that but it also works for that so it's all cool like i said this is the fog dash 700 unit uh when it arrived in the box it's just a plain box and i really didn't know what it was because the box was so small and i, I just assumed it was bigger than what it really was but when it shows a picture i'll leave a link to the youtube uh uh, down in the YouTube description, the link to the, the product on Amazon. When it shows like the remote next to it in the photo, which I'm looking at right now, that's like an accurate description of size. By unboxing it, it's very simple to put together. It's ready to go just in minutes. All you're going to do is screw these two things down to the side of the mount. It's got a mounting bracket here, which can be used as a handle as well, but it actually has a handle here, which does keep its balance pretty good with solution in there, so it doesn't tilt really too much one way or the other. Uh, it's got an on-off on the back. You got about a three or four foot uh, long power cord, so you're gonna need an extension with it for sure, unless you just luck up. Uh, I plugged it up in the garage, and before I could like set up the shot, it started like pumping the juice out. And the remote's pretty cool. Uh, look at that, huh? We haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> the batteries come included, but the cool thing is like you got these numbers here and you're like, well, what's the purpose of these? When you turn the unit, the remote around, that, that's what it's for. So like, as you see it here, boom. Smoke would be one, red two, and it says two, but they put it kind of backward. They put it in the way that it would be when you flipped it right around and looked at the number pad, which is cool. So smoke one, red light two, green light three, blue light four. This is the rings. Then you get the automatic color change five for like this dome uh, strobe light for the rings um, on number six. Number seven's magic ball open and number eight magic ball pass. So you can cut this disco ball on and off. Uh, just kind of keep pushing buttons and stuff until you get a rhythm for it. Cause it doesn't really go into full explanation, but I was able to change the dome light color spectrum as well along with this. So, I mean, just there's a lot of concoctions here, but this definitely does give you a pretty good outline of what those buttons are doing. Um, but just play with it. Uh, good range. I uh, never got to a point where I couldn't get to it, uh, the unit. Um, I love the red light and I love the strobe light just with the nine ring lights on, nine lights on the bottom here. Uh, it put a good creepy light out even blue and green did too so it's really just suited for what you need it for i was surprised at the dome disco light it actually projected good solid light to the ceiling of the garage i have a high ceiling in there um, so it got all the way across and looked good it didn't look, look like a blurry mess even across the room of a uh, that section of the garage was a two-car garage 
uh, 22 feet long or so, and it was all the way against one side. So you're getting, you, you get to see a 22 by whatever two car with two foot extended for storage on the sides. Um, and it filled the whole space. Uh, the fog machine, man, it just like whoosh, and the whole place was like lit up with fog and it set low and dense in a controlled setting. Uh, the garage was pretty controlled. Uh, it didn't really rise up too far so I could see. So it would be perfect for Halloween. But again, that's the dense, low-laying, low-laying fog juice that I have that I put through it that's expensive. Um, uh, yeah, let's see what else. Oh yeah, you can push one to start the fog machine. And you do get a red light notification across the top that the remote's working. Uh, you push one to start it and it will just spray out, time out, heat back up, spray out, time out, heat back up again, which I really like because it's like an auto setting. Um, or you can just press one, spray a little bit, press one and it'll shut off and you can run it like that, just squirts at, at a time. But there is no timer for it uh, to, to spray like every five or 10 minutes or something like that. I'm still looking for one of those for this Halloween though. I would like a, a timer, but, um, this is pretty cool. Cause if I'm in the house, I've got security cameras so I can watch if, uh, anyone is coming up for Halloween night and just spray it out, set the tone, have the red, blue, green, whatever solid light below and really, really set a good atmosphere. So, uh, it, I really like it for the price. They, they've lowered the price quite a bit. It's on sale right now. So I think it's a pretty good steal for what all you're kind of getting. Yeah, it looks like a small, tiny machine, but it performed pretty strong. Uh, you do get the lights, which are very cool. If you consider just a light source alone, to add a fog machine on top of that for the price it is not a crazy price at all. It's a low price. So it's a good unit for that reason. If you think about it, well, I've got these lights, but I got an added bonus of fog as well so think of it from that point of view and i think you'll be very happy going into it so the 700 watt fog output power reaches to about 3500 cfm between three and four meters of distance and duration of fog time is about 30 seconds so yes i agree with that as you can get up to 30 meters of radius with this and be careful inside because i wanted to show my wife this i was out there playing with it in the garage with everything shut up just really looking at it and paying attention to everything and i was like holy crap this thing is so awesome let me run and get the wife so right when i opened the door to go into the house it was just like a sea of this fog came in and every smoke detector on the bottom floor went off and i was having to explain myself to security company and i was like oh yeah i was just cooking something i was just cooking something and they're like but these alarms went off and i'm like yeah i know we got it it's okay Here's my code word. <laughs> so be mindful of that. If you're gonna do it inside, it's, if you're gonna try it out when you get it on the inside, it's gonna set off your uh, smoke alarms. That's kind of it, man. Like your standard fog machine that's like, you know, this big, you know, uh, what is it? Like 500 watt, 1200 watt fog machine equivalent or something like that. This one can compete right up there with it. It just has a little smaller of a tank. That's it. So uh, this Halloween, I'm really gonna gauge it out and see how long it can go until it runs out. I'm gonna push it to its limit from right at dusk all the way until it's gone. And um, I'll come back in the YouTube description or something like that and put its time stamp down there on how long it lasted. But, you know, based on what I've got it added up to, it'll last through all the trick-or-treaters that come by probably, because it seemed like they just, whoo, and then it's over. Um, so anyway, that's it. It's a good buy for its price. It's very solid. I, I highly recommend it. Link down in the YouTube description. Make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified on the next product review that I got coming. This one was pretty sweet and I'm pretty sure the next one's going to be good too. Yeah, it will be. See ya.